Russian soldiers drink their urine, they are in hellish conditions. In an intercepted phone call published by Ukraine's security service, a Russian stormtrooper described devastating Ukrainian first-person view drone attacks, causing heavy losses to Russian troops situated near Kupiansk in the Kharkiv sector. Kyiv Post media outlet reported this. Special Forces of the Special Operations Center A of the Ukraine's security service, together with their comrades from the Ukrainian Defense Forces, daily destroy the invaders trying to break through the front in the Kharkiv region, the Ukraine's security service report said. The Ukraine's security service released a radio interception of a conversation between a Russian stormtrooper and his mother. According to the conversation, Russian forces are under constant fire from Ukrainian defenders and are forced to hide in burrows. In the conversation with his mother, the soldier said, The command are taking us out the other day because there is nothing left of us. There should be 126 soldiers, but there is nothing left there. A rumble and a series of explosions are then heard in the background. The Russian serviceman explained that a kamikaze drone just flew over him and his comrades, adding, It's the kind of swear word that flies and explodes. It destroys military equipment. We're hiding now. Swear word. I read all the prayers. It's a homemade drone and it's stuffed with explosives. It doesn't drop ammunition but crashes into the equipment, the Russian soldier said. When his mother asked if it was possible to somehow shoot down this drone, he answered in the negative, noting that the drone accelerates to 160 kilometers an hour. Asked by his mother if they are in a shelter, the Russian stormtrooper replied, Mom, people here have been sitting without water for nine days. They drink their own urine. For me, a basin of water would be a joy. He and other soldiers live in burrows located in the remnants of the forest where they can only sit. And there you sleep. You fight from it. You eat there. There's a toilet there. Well, how can you call it a shelter? The Russian soldier told his mother. In two nights, we slept maybe an hour. Do you know how much we have left of the company? We have either 63 or 73 wounded and about 10 people dead, he added. Last year, Kyiv Post interviewed Maria, who works for Ukrainian intelligence as a professional eavesdropper. She talked about some of the shocking things she heard. Russia regularly dismisses the content of intercepted calls published by Ukraine, saying they are fake, a claim Maria denied. She said, yes, they are all real, even though they might seem insane. Sometimes I can't believe the words I'm hearing myself. But we have what we have. In another intercepted phone call published by Ukraine's military intelligence, a Russian commander threatened a soldier that barrier troops would kill him and his comrades if they refused to go on an assault in the Kharkiv region. Что, прилет был? Конечно. Прилет был? використовувала авіаційні боєприпаси МПБ-30 влучання по торгівельному центру. Станом на зараз щонайменше декілька загиблих осіб 
десяток травмованих, фактично руйнування цього торгівельного центру, встановлюється кількість.